This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Right, I don't know where this video is going to take us, but I'm hoping it might be somewhere cool. I just saw um, a chat on Facebook with a chap, I think, Matthew? Yeah, Matthew Lawhorn. Um, I'm probably saying your second name wrong because that's new to me. But he was asking about how could we do reverse reverb in the HX Stomp. And I thought, well, that sounds like something that could sound interesting. Now, um, we don't actually have any specific um, reverse reverb effect that's the first thing to say so we're going to have to create our own so i'm going to start from the dynamic plate and we'll see what happens here so i'm going to start with a fairly long decay and we'll use the reverb mix at 100 percent because i want to show you something that i've just tried and what we're going to need to do is put whatever we want reversed before the um reverse delay now if we use mono we can get four seconds of delay and if we use stereo we can get two seconds of delay i think that's the way that it works um so i'm going to set the time to its full length uh, we've got feedback low cut high cut mix level and we've got modulation as well which we can turn on or off um at the moment i've got that off and i think let's Keep this 100% to start with because this is what I've found that already I can see. So essentially you can see what's happening there. When we turn on reverse delay, we then get this situation. I'm gonna take the feedback down so we just get the one repeat, so. But what I'm thinking is that that certainly 
to me seems like the sort of thing I could make a whole lot of use out of. So what I'm thinking is if we chuck this down onto path B and also chuck this down to path B, um, we could experiment with using different types as well. So Searchlights has a really nice um, airy kind of uh, voice to it. So let me try this a second. Or what else could we try? Plateau, we could get a bit of shimmer, or we could just use the actual shimmer. I think this might start to create a situation where it's a little bit less clear what's going on, but let's see what happens anyway. Decay, have a nice long decay. So I do think that maybe the dynamic plate worked best out of some of those options um, for me personally. So let's just keep that. So what else could we do here? Um, I'm going to put together, first of all, a little bit of a preset on top so that we've got something else going on with this preset and move that here and we've got an amp and cab here no let's just do that so I want to keep things fairly basic guitar uh, deluxe vibrato channel and take everything to five ish presence off and we'll go with 4038 ribbon some reflections and let's see Now, what else can we do here? Let's put a little bit more of a reverb at the end so that we've got something going on with our guitar. Um, something like the glitz, nice longish decay, and a reasonable mix. And what else we could do, I think, is maybe even, I'm thinking we might want to chuck a bit of compression on. We're getting a little bit tight in terms of what we can use. We're using two reverbs here. So hold on, let me um, get rid of this. Uh, so what I'm thinking is if we want to do this as more of an experiment, uh, and less intense, we could use a little bit less um, or use the full helix, but what can we do on this path? I was thinking of maybe sticking a compressor on it, but a stereo I guess 
we can put a chorus on it. This tremolo auto pan, a definite useful one. Um, set it with a sine wave and should see this should do We're probably getting a little bit tight for DSP. What's coming on here? Because what was it that I couldn't do? I couldn't even add a compressor, but I can add other aspects. Very strange. Right, uh, if I put this down to path B, um, and we'll use a super long time for this. Let's see how much time we've actually got here. Looks to me like this is going to be about one millisecond yeah right so if we put this here and assign so this hatchet is going to be in between the reverb and the delay and if we then this should give us some sort of infinite type And we can assign this level to an expression pedal. So I've got an expression pedal here. So we can go louder if we need to as well. But I think hopefully, Matthew, that answers your question. Could you do some reverse reverb stuff? You can do a certain amount. There is nothing explicitly in here which can do reverse reverb. But we can build some stuff which I think gets us in that sort of territory. So hopefully that's vaguely what you're looking for. Um, maybe. Um, I think that could be a really nice way to sort of build some mood, particularly if you're like in the worship kind of space or something like that or playing more loop bass or ambient guitar Give it a try. I think the reverse delay block is not something I've tried much of, to be honest with you. Um, the first sort of time I would heard this sort of thing, I would have thought would be Jimi Hendrix, um, which was just tape played in reverse, right? Not so much of an effect-based thing like this. But 
I think there are some applications for it as I've been discovering recently, but let me know if you've got uses for the reverse delay. It might also be something that I'd like to see in future from line six, where instead of it being a discrete block, that the reverse function could be something which was inside the delay block. I don't know if that'd be at all possible, but so like it's more of a switch where you're turning a delay to reverse um, rather than the other way around. Um, in that way we could maybe make use of this sort of thing on a momentary basis. Um, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments as well. But yeah, that'll be in the folder if you want to leave a comment requesting it. And I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers for now.